Hey guys, Aviation Air Program here. So today, this is the first episode of Aviation Air News. So both in a good way or bad way. So anyways, I want to give you the uh, news headlines. So we'll jump out and get started with the news and what is going to be happening. So chill out and, and get ready for the headlines. So we will start um, with Emirates, uh, which is Dubai's flag carrier. They announced that uh, it will apply a one-off uh, service with an A380 to Islamabad on July of 8th. And the airline's double-decker will make its air inaugural arrival in Islamabad on a special flight EK2524-EK2524. slash the A380 flight will depart Islamabad that afternoon, arriving back in Dubai on the same day. We are proud to bring our flagship A380 aircraft to Islamabad and we look forward to showcasing our innovative products on board this iconic aircraft with the signature Emirates service, said Majid Al Mala, a senior vice president at Emirates. It looks like they're doing a one-off service. Well, um, I know it's kind of a little sad. So yeah, um, it's good that they will send an A380 to Islamabad uh, on July 8th. So it's really exciting. So can't wait to think more about it, guys. So hope you will like this whenever you go for the flight. And uh, so definitely, what is financial problems? Uh, with India Airways uh, to kill the Airbus A380, well, this is really shocking. Well, um, so how did it happen is because they're saying if there is a success story in the otherwise rocky tail of the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo, it is with the Gulf carriers. While many airlines have never owned an A380, such as all the U.S. carriers, the 555 passenger uh, $470 million planes have been embraced by the Gulf Airlines. Indeed, Dubai, where the A380 is a common sight, is the busiest uh, international airport in the world. Of the 20, uh, 200, 222 Airbus A380s that have been delivered fully have gone to the carriers located around the Persian Gulf Emirates is the undisputed A380 heavyweight champion with um, uh, with 102 A380s already in its fleet and another 60 on order but Abu Dhabi based carrier Etihad Airways the second largest airline of the United Arab Emirates operates 10 uh, as many as Air France and uh, Qatar 9 flying on the Etihad A380 can be a special experience indeed, particularly if you opt for the residence when you fly. The residence, the only three room suit on a commercial airline, can only be found on Etihad's A380s. The residence design for up to guests traveling together. It includes a living room, separate bedroom, insert shower room, and an in-flight chef, personal, butler, and lifestyle concierge. And if you can only afford regular first class, Etihad first class has been reimagined with the first apartment. This includes a large leather armchair, a separate bed of six feet, uh, 10 inches and 39 square feet space to walk around in along with a tw 24 inch flat screen TV. Unfortunately, Ithiat's financial results are not all, are not so first class. Ithiat says it lost 1.52 billion uh, dollars or fees back in 2017 uh, issues include significant fuel increases to which even Gulf monarchy monarchies uh, 
are not immune. Um, so that means that actually Etihad has been going through some losses. It looks like the results were apparently like failed. Like two years they had made a lot of, you know, like losses um, or something like that. Um, a failed investment and partnership arrangement with uh, Elat, Elit, Talia, and uh, Air Berlin, both of which later was failed for insolv insolvency. It can, so it means uh, El Italia continues to operate Air Berlin, seized operations on uh, October 27. 27 of 2017 last year Etihad still holds stakes on four other airlines that is it looks like that um, Etihad is like having financial problems like uh, you know something like that well it looks like let's I, it looks like I think Etihad is trying to have a little bit problem so I think it's uh, really you know too hard to explain the whole story so that's really really sad so uh, the air, so the A380 is a scrapyard to fly again, as leasing firm Highfly acquires a super jumbo jet. Um, so uh, an Airbus A380 jet returned to Singapore by Singapore Airlines has found a home with port with Portuguese uh, leasing firm car carrier Highfly, marking a uh, respite for a Europe's slow-selling uh, super jumbo jet. After the sec, after the first uh, two second-hand aircraft took, uh, sorry, look set to be broken up for the parts. Highfly and the plane owner, Dark Aviation, formalized the deal in time for this month's uh, Foreign Borough Air Show, where Airbus and investors in the world's largest airliner will be striving to demonstrate that. It has a further industry sources said uh, Doric was not immediately available for comment. Airbus and Highfly announced that uh, the leasing firm had received an A380 but did not say where it originated. The deal comes with weeks after German investment company Dr. Peters uh, said it would strip two A380s for parts after failing to find an airline willing to keep them flying uh, it looks like uh, it's it, it says that um, the same fate may await two more A380s through industry sources say it is trying to uh, negotiate a deal with an Asian airline to spare those jets from the uh, scrapyard uh, to it looks like their Singapore Airlines is uh, trying to make a return on their A380s, but I'm it's really not too sure. Well, it looks like that um, Highfly um, is going to be leasing the A380s probably soon or later in the other weeks or something because uh, I'm not too sure about it. So let me know what the future is. So yeah. So guys, so that's it for the news. Well, definitely it was like um, both in a good way or a bad way. So definitely it looks like uh, uh, it's good to see Emirates flying an A380 to Islamabad, but this is a one-off, sadly. Um, and, Etihad, uh, and Etihad has been really going through financial losses, but uh, I know it's, re it's really not too good that it's really happening. And also High Fly um, is trying to uh, fly again as firm to inquire the A380, A380s. Uh, it looks like um, uh, they're, they're about to do, I think they'll get an A380 soon because um, because uh, actu actually it, the parts are broken or something. Well, let's see what Highfly has to say, but there's no official statement from uh, Highfly or the airbus or something like that yeah so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching the headlines of aviation air news well 
And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, goodbye.